All right, so I want to be a bit more casual in these videos and to start off with, and I was thinking to myself, how do I get back into coding again for myself? And one of the ways I thought about was making this website. And here it is. So if you want to see this website, it's theanstech.com. But essentially, there's not much into it other than a Hello World article, which to start so i don't want to put too much time into it because you want to produce value right now the only value to this site is to the link of my youtube channel and my email and a post which i want to be the main driving factor because i want to make posts here now there was an option to make newsletters but i'm not going to start that right now because I'm going to take it one step at a time and you might be wondering what do you mean that there was a newsletter on the side here well, I made this website using a template from Tailwind. Now, you might be thinking, oh, what's the point? Just make a website on your own. The thing is, I feel like there's not much added value I could provide by making components from scratch. So why not use what you have and just build it? Because at the end of the day, you want to deliver value. And unless you're aiming for making an awards website or trying to be the best portfolio or website out there, I just don't see any point on spending so much time on a portfolio. Yes, it's personalized. I could have added some frame of motion effects like I've done in previous instances, but I don't feel like there's any much value in it and so if i come back to this site this is a template i've used from tailwind ui and there's a lot of nice things in tailwind ui where you can get some components some templates this catalyst template is really nice as well i was using this for product building and it's a nice nice ui kit and so you've got so many options that are dedicated for certain niches and so I chose this spotlight one. And to give you a bit of a preview, it looks like this. And now, as you can see, there's a lot more things going on here. And I've removed a lot of things. This is aimed at someone's portfolio. And I'm not trying to make this as a portfolio for work, but as a way to make blogs and add some of my work onto the site. And look, I don't know what the future holds. I am just starting out. I've got experience as a software engineer. I'm not trying to look for a job. I'm just trying to build my own brand and see where I go. As you can see, the website's a bit more filled and there's a lot of things happening. They've got some images and they've got these newsletter sections, the work section. And the reason why I didn't add the newsletter was simply because I just don't think it's productive in the beginning to just add the newsletter when you don't really have much of an audience. So once I start growing some audience and some traffic generating to this site, then I'll start to consider adding a newsletter. I don't really have much social media platforms on here as well because I've deactivated most of my social media platforms. So the only presence I have with this brand is a YouTube channel and this email. And so I've got this about section and I talk a little bit about what I want to do and what I've been doing and the articles page. And of course, I've left the dark and light mode, which is nice. And the images represent on what I do. And yeah, I think it's a good way to sum it up. Coming back to the articles, some people would go with the WordPress approach and be like, why not use a CMS like WordPress? Now, I think a WordPress is a little heavy in terms of my needs right now. And actually, hosting on Brazil seems a lot more efficient which leads to my next point i am using next.js for this so the template came with next.js and i feel like next.js is a nice option because i am not using any of the serverless functions and so it just makes sense if they're offering free hosting plus my application can be up so quickly why not just use it and so i went with that option and i know there's other options out there one of the good things about this article feature was that it included mdx now, MDX is a library, which is really nice. And essentially, it combines your JSX components and Markdown. I think for developers like me, this is pretty sufficient. Yeah, you might need to wait two minutes for that GitHub action to go through. But it essentially does the job. And I can render things how I want. Plus, Markdown is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty nice uh, the way I've been using it in work and 
in my yeah i mean just in my normal workflow it's become so handy to me so i want to get good at markdown as well so that's another way of me practicing it and if you look at this components page there's a lot of translation between it because there are some equivalents on what you would write in jsx or tsx and what you would write in markdown i think there are some things that are not supported yet which is tables i don't know anything else the only thing i did find was tables wasn't supported but again tables are a pain anyway but it's got most of the markdown features you need so i think this is probably an efficient way of creating your posts and i feel like there's a trend on astro and next.js where people are making blogs from just using mdx you can go the rich text editor way but i think we have some options out there other than wordpress yeah if you want a straightforward setup you can use that but like i said it does the job and there's less setup involved to be honest and even if i was going to use wordpress i would have customized that site and then i would have to customize like a normal html php document which is which is still all right but I mean, I'd rather use React. One more good thing about Wordcell is I didn't notice this till I deployed it, but there's a lot of team features out here. Now, it's not really useful for me because I'm a single user. I think this is a way of marketing their pro plan and they're doing a pretty good job on it because it got some nice features. And I think Wordcell is trying to make sure that people like their developer experience because I'm not going to lie, the developer experience is pretty nice from Wurzel. Yeah, there are some things that, yeah, it just doesn't work out. But the developer experience is pretty nice on their website. And even with this website integration, it's pretty smooth. It looks cool. And they're making some cool stuff as well. I like the other tools as well. I like Remix. I like Astro. I like everything else. I mean, they're just tools to me. And... If a tool is providing good experience, why not? So yeah, I just wanted to make this video just being a bit more casual and see how it can go forward. And I guess trying to dive more deep into the tech side again, because I mean, I code a nine to five in, my, in a day job. I should be doing stuff for myself as well and trying to see how I can bring value to the world. And one of the things I wanted to mention was even though this is a template, it brought that spark into me on um, making products and making something for myself because I was just writing stuff and then committing and then trying to move things around. I mean, I didn't really move much around, but just that process of doing something for yourself is actually really good. So I was thinking this is probably a good start. And, and yeah, if you're on the sidelines, I would just say start doesn't matter if you pick a template i think a template is a good guide you can modify it as well i mean tailwind ui it gives you the freedom as long as you don't leak the code you're all good and there's free alternatives out there you don't have to use tailwind ui there's shatsy and even though they don't claim themselves as a components library they've got some pretty nice components there's probably other free components out there that i'm not aware of but the web is available for you to build and if there's something that can help you achieve that result faster just do it. Anyways, I might be expanding this, but I just want to give this as an update and we'll see how it goes. I guess I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think this is the right approach? Would you recommend this advice to others as well of getting started and then trying to build your way up? And if you want to join me in this journey, make sure to subscribe. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.